Time to tackle this side. Be way easier if the ABS was out of the way, but I'm not ready to tackle that quite yet. So yeah, this mess is about to come out. And soon it'll look like this side. Valve cover's done, plugs are done, plug wires are prepped. The idler and tensioner pulleys as well as the timing tensioner are on and the timing belt is routed. Spun it a couple times, verified my timing's good, and uh, we're moving on to reassembly of the timing covers and everything now, so finally back on track. All right, it is 9.35. It's very much so dark, it rained, now it's dry again, but we've made some progress. So, crank pulleys on, Drive belt tensioner's on, alternator, the new fan bracket is on. That was a fight, um, cause there's a bolt underneath here that's just a pain to get to, so that put up a fight, but I won. And uh, got the two top timing covers on, got the rotors and distributor caps in place. Um, so basically the next steps are going to be line up all my wiring, put the top covers on, um, get the coolant lines back on, drive belt on. I forgot any grab um, four matching nuts so that I can bolt this guy on so that I can put my drive belt on. But that'll be, that'll be an easy thing to do. So I'll get a hold of that, um, probably grab those tomorrow. I also removed the cooler, cause what's a fluid radiator fan system without a cooler? So that system is out in its entirety now. Uh, the only things left, I need to find if there's any relays or fuses I need to remove. And there's this one wiring end that all probably just tape off and zip out of the way for now. But it's coming along. I think we've got just a couple more hours of reassembly and this will all be back together. And the fans are actually here. So as soon as this is finalized, we'll pop the radiator partially out and start installing the fans. It's going well, we're getting there. We'll continue another night. Birds are chirping, it just rained. Um, went ahead. Picked up four bolts today, so this is now bolted on. Uh, threw this guy back on, which, yeah, I think I need a, yeah. We'll be replacing him shortly. But, um, goodness, this has taken so long to replicate the plug wire routing on this thing. It is an absolute terrible annoyance. Thankfully, since I had left that all connected into the little track, I was able to just exactly duplicate the factory routing. So that's all in there, and now we're going to throw on the little covers. Well, we're still rolling, but uh, covers are on. Uh, thermostat housing, and that's on. Threw the drive belt on and uh, got my non-traction control throttle body quickly modified up and ready to go. And then the gasket cracked. So I gotta get a new gasket for that, but that's ready to go back on. Um, I fixed a broken port on the intake. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna tackle the fans. So what I'm gonna do is we've got two 14 inch SPAL spall uh, fans. Um, I got these little run it through installers that should work fine. Um, I don't really want to totally remove the radiator, even though that would make it a lot easier because I've got fluid lines to the transmission right there. So my goal is to take off these brackets and just kind of rock it forward and see if I can get them installed with it still in the car. So attaching these with this method is super simple. Um, so you have this kind of spike, um, if it'll focus, you have a pointy end, it has like ribs on it, and you just run that 
So you set the fan on the front of the radiator. You punch this through the radiator. See that sits real nice and snug in there. Then you have a piece of foam. And you have a little disc, which I cut because I thought these were going here and they're not. Anyways, it's fine. But then you put that on the back of the radiator and you zip that through and boom, it's on. That's all it takes. So one's on, I'm gonna pop this on and then reinstall the radiator and show you guys how they look. So I still have to put in the upper hose, but um, since the wiring's right here, I'm gonna leave that out of the way until we get that wired. Um, through the reservoir back on, through the battery tray and after modifying it, um, it did hit the fan um, right down here. So you can see I took the corner off of it. I also went ahead and just cut the edge, the entire edge, because this battery tray did extend to like here. It doesn't have to. So trimmed that down, um, kind of made room for everything. And uh, yeah, they are in there. I have so much more room now. Because before, the pump sat out to like here, and then the wire, the hoses on the fan sat out to like here. I had like this much room to play with. Because this whole mess was in there. The entire fluid mess. And now, we have room. All kinds of room. So, I'm super, super happy about that. Really excited how that turned out. Um, we do have to still wire it, like I said. That's it for tonight. It's like, I don't even know, 10.30, 10.45. I'm gonna go eat supper. Catch you in the next one.